welcome to pouches and more and today we'll be preparing this open wide coin pouch it's a tiny pouch it's got a zipper and this is how it will be when it's open it will open like this flat I have put clips inside you can place whatever you want so this is how it will be closed also let's check out the materials required to make this coin pouch we require one piece of denim fabric measuring four and a half inches by eight inches we require two pieces of main fabric they measure two and a half inches by eight inches we also require one piece of fusible interfacing this is a bit stiff and this measures eight inches by eight inches this is a bit stiff next we require one piece of lining fabric measuring eight inches by eight inches another fusible interfacing this is the softer one it also measures eight inches by eight inches and this is for the lining fabric next we require two pieces of main fabric that is for the side and these measure four and quarter inches by three and three four inches we have folded them in half and kept now we'll also be requiring fusible interfacing for this and these measure one and three fourth inches by three and three fourth inches they are two we require two pieces of binding strips also they measure two inches by four and quarter inches next we require two pieces of main fabric this is for the pull tab and this measures two inches by two inches we require a 10 inch long zip i have taken a longer zip these are all the materials required so first we'll prepare the main fabric so for that we have taken the denim fabric right side facing up and we'll place the two main fabrics right beside them and the right side will be facing down that is the right sides will be together of the denim fabric and the main fabric so we have just clipped them we'll do that for the other side also the right sides will to will be together and we're just going to clip them we need to make a simple straight stitch on both these so the right sides are together inside and we'll be making a straight stitch the straight stitch is done we're just going to open the side flaps like this the seams will be out the seams will be pressed out towards the fabric not the denim i will make a top stitch so our main fabric is completely done top stitch is also done we need to prepare the pattern on the fusible interfacing so this is 8 inches by 8 inches now on all four sides we'll be making a boxing of 2 inches by 2 inches so this is on one side we have done one boxing we'll be doing the same boxing on all three sides Our boxing is done all off on all four corners now we are going to join these two inch marks that is the boxing we are going to join it like this as shown so I just going to make a triangle over there we'll be doing this for all four corners we are doing this on the fusible interfacing that we will be using for the main fabric now the top edges will be slightly curving them so this fusible interfacing which we are using for the pattern is the stiffer one now this is done we will have to join these lines that is for the perfect pattern so we will join these two lines they are parallel to each other our pattern is complete and we will just cut the entire thing this is the fusible interfacing that we will be using for the main fabric on which we have done the pattern so we will place it on the wrong side and we will have to iron this we will also be ironing the interfacing for the lining also on the wrong side of the lining so we will place it on the wrong side and we will be ironing both of them since it is a fusible interfacing we are just going to iron it and stick them so we are going to place it place the lining also like this now once that is done we are going to we have to cut the pattern on both the lining fabric and the main fabric the pattern is cut 
we need to attach the zip for that first we'll take the main fabric and we need a center marking so we're just going to fold it in half like this and we'll make a center marking we do that on both the sides we'll be requiring a center marking for the lining fabric also so first we just make a center marking on the main fabric next we'll take the lining fabric and as we did for the denim we'll just fold it in half and we'll make a center marking this is for attaching the zip so on all three that is the main fabric lining fabric as well as on the zip we require a center marking now once this lining fabric center marking is done we'll be doing a center marking on the zip as well just fold the zip and make a center marking on both the sides so we have center on all the sides now the right side is facing up of the denim fabric and the slider will be facing down of the zip and we are going to align the center marks and we are going to clip the entire thing now on the curve part on this curve part we are going to make small cuts so we are just going to clip it till, the, till it is straight and then on the curve part we are going to make small cuts so that it aligns nicely with the fabric since the fabric is having a slight cut it will align nicely if we do the small cuts so we're just going to make small cuts on the curve part where the zip will be coming now once we made the cuts we'll again clip it clip the entire thing sorry till the end we'll be clipping on both the sides now we need to make a stitch on this so our one side of the zip will be attached to the fabric only the main fabric part so both sides will clip like this and now we'll have to make a stitch over here one side is done we need to attach the other side for that first we'll open the zip and as we did for this side we are just going to align the center marks here also slider side facing down align the center marks clip them make small notches on the curve part so we have made small notches and then zip uh, sorry clip the entire zip and we'll have to make a stitch on this also so once we clip the entire thing we'll have to make a stitch on this side also both sides zip is attached to the main fabric now we need to attach it to the lining fabric so we'll place the lining fabric right side down so right sides of the denim and lining fabric will be together align the center marks clip the entire thing I will clip the other side also so just align the center marks and clip the entire thing once this is done we're just going to make a stitch on both the sides Now we need to make a top stitch for that we'll just turn the whole thing to the right side so here we have got an opening in the side which is going to turn the whole thing so turn the whole thing to the right side and we'll be making a stitch all around we'll also be stitching over here that is the square part also we'll be stitching so that it is it holds itself properly This is our top stitch and we have also stitched this side part next we'll be preparing the pull tabs for that we are taking this fabric fold it in half and we're just going to get the raw edges on both the sides to the center they'll be meeting in the center and we'll make another fold now we're going to clip this once i finish clipping it we need to make a stitch on both the sides we'll be doing that for this other piece also so 
now we just prepare the porotta now we are going to fold the porotta in half the raw edge will be pushing it out right in the center of the main fabric that is the denim fabric center we are going to place the loop side inside the raw edge outside and we are just going to clip it we will be doing this on both the sides so fold it and the raw edge will be out and the loop side will be inside that is on the denim fabric right in the center we are just going to clip it and we are going to make a stitch over here loop is ready now we need to stitch the sides for that we are just going to fold it like this clip it and we are going to do this for both the sides as well as the other side that is where the slider is so here we are just going to align it like this and clip this we need to make a stitch now on the side that the slider is we need to push the slider inside first before we make the stitch so first we will get the slider inside slightly this is a little tricky part so we need to get the slider right to the end and then make a stitch but careful put the slider inside the pouch side while making the stitch so we are going to make a stitch on both these sides we need to make a simple straight stitch on both these sides now we will just cut the extra zip we need to prepare the side flap for that we have taken this fabric and now this is the flap fabric we are going to attach the fusing to it so this fusing we have taken only half of the cloth measurement so we are just going to attach it on one side so we will place it on one side both sides quarter inches we will be leaving and the fabric will be we have folded the fabric wrong side so we will be placing the interfacing on the wrong side and ironing it and then we will be folding the fabric half that is the right sides will be together so we will be folding it like this right sides will be together inside and we will have to make a stitch on the side both sides quarter inches stitch we will do that for the other one also So both our flaps are ready, we make a stitch on the side. Our side flap is ready, we have also turned it over and made a stitch on the raw edge. We have turned the entire thing over and on the raw edge we have made a stitch. So this is our pouch, this is the raw edge that we have. The raw edge will be aligning with the raw edge of the side flap and we place it like this and clip it. We will do the same thing for the other side also, raw edges will be together, align it neatly and clip it. So here we need to make a straight stitch on both the sides. So our side flap is ready, we need to enclose the raw edges, so for that we will prepare the binding. I will take the binding and on the wrong side or the below side, down side, we are just going to place it like this. Now we need to make a stitch. So we will do the same thing on the other side also. On the raw edge, we are just going to place it like this on the base. And we are going to make a stitch on both sides. Now to complete this binding, we will just be folding it like this from the sides from the side we will have to fold it and from the top part we will be making a double fold and we are just going to clip it we will be doing this on the other side also so first we need to fold it from the side inside and we need to make a double fold from top so this is how we will be completing our binding now we are just going to clip it and even the center part we are just going to make a double fold and we are just going to clip the entire thing so here it is we have folded it twice and we are just going to clip the entire thing over here also we will have to do this for the other side also other side binding we need to make a stitch over here we will do that for the other side also Now 
we need to make a stitch on both these sides to complete the binding. So our binding is completed. There are no raw edges. Now the only thing left to be done is we need to stitch this flap to the side over here. Since it is open in the side, we need to just stitch it. So I am going to hand stitch it. First we are just going to clip all the four corners like this. We will do that for the other side also. Now we need to make a stitch and stitch the four sides. Now once the four sides are hand stitched, our pouch is completely done, we just have to turn it. So this is how our open wide coin pouch will be looking. It's completely done, there are no raw edges inside and this is how it looks. It's easy to make and it looks nice. So this is how it will be looking once it's completely done and ready. Please do try this. Thanks for watching. Bye.